Talk about turning up the heat in the kitchen. It got really intense on MasterChef last night right here on Fox, especially for one lucky guy who's standing here right now, but he's not been beat yet. Yes, that's a pun based on your dish. <laughs> Farhan's here. It's great to see you, man. How hey, are you? Thanks for having me. I am thrilled that you are here. I'm such a fan and a fan of the show. So first of all, uh, but before we even get into things, we got to show a clip from last night. Oh, Can yeah, we do that? Okay, take a look for at sure. this. Farhan. Undo your apron. And Farhan, do it up tighter and get your act together. Your time is not done here. That look on your face, the look yeah. of relief right there. The look, the look says it all, honestly. You saw, <laughs> you saw my eyes pop. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, it, it was kind of, that moment was probably the moment I was like, holy crap, I'm going home. Yeah, and, and, yeah. And, and, you know, that was not cool by Gordon, honestly. I, oh, but he, it was great me. for us to watch <laughs> on TV. We love the suspense. So let's talk about the episode. First of all, you, you cooked for firefighters first. Yes. That had to be a really cool experience. What was that like? Oh, it was fantastic. Honestly, yeah. being out there, it, it, we were in, pretty much in the middle of a, a farm. Yeah. And so yeah. it was honestly one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my entire life. So if you looked, when, they didn't really show it on TV, but if you look to the right, you could see the Pacific Ocean. And if wow. you look to the left, you could see the entire mountain range. Wow. So it was, it was incredible. And honestly, it was really cool, honestly, giving back to the community. Yeah. So, yeah. like, giving these firefighters risk their lives to yeah. battle that large wildfire. And just be able to cook for them and have them try our food was just an honor. So yeah. it was super cool. And then after that, the words that must strike fear into your heart every time, mystery box challenge. You, you, you just never know what's coming. Is that terrifying? Honestly, it's terrifying, but also exciting at the same time. Because okay. I think the mystery box challenges really give you a chance to shine in terms of your creativity. Yeah. And yeah. And that's really what I'm all about is yeah. how far can I push the limit? And I think I might have pushed it a little too far. Well, let's, let's discuss this. I, some, the word beat is a controversial. Some people love beets. Some people can't stand them. You did a beet puree. You know, honestly, they say you, we can't do beet purees. And I've made a plenty of beet purees at home. It's actually okay. kind of an a Indian thing. So like okay. my, my mom grew up, what you would do is puree beets mm -hmm. and then do a tempered oil on top. So either fold in yogurt and make it almost like a, a sauce. It's a side dish. Huh, okay. So you fold in yogurt and then you temper it with mustard seeds, uh, curry leaf. And so it's almost like a, a side dish. Yeah, and so that's kind good. of what the inspiration was for that beet puree. Yeah. But I think the hang up for the, for the judges were there were baby beets. Yeah. And so yeah. it was just sort of like, why are you going to use baby beets that are just like so fresh, you know, just yeah, less than yeah. six months old yeah. and puree them up. So yeah. I, I get it. And I, I learned from that mistake. Well, you know what? You're still standing. That's yes, all exactly. that matters. Speaking of food you grew up with, what are we cooking right now? Yeah. So what we're making, this is actually how I ended up on Master. Chef. So okay. what I'm making is the Nahari sandwich. So okay. Nahari is like a traditional North Indian Pakistani stew. Mm -hmm. And so what I did was it's like chunks of meat and you eat it with fresh naan. It's like a traditional like breakfast food or, or things that for a special occasion. So okay. the, how I kind of came up with this dish is my mom sent it to me while I was in, at Emory and um, I left it on the stove too long and the meat shredded <laughs> apart. So I'm like, dang, what am I going to do with all this yeah. great meat? So I ended up having some buns sitting around. So I slapped it between two buns and it was unbelievable wow so it's sort of like the way i put it, it's almost like a pulled barbecue sandwich now Ooh. so sort of, so what i'm what i have here is we actually uh do these so from that sandwich yeah what happened was it, we were opening a restaurant so my family has a restaurant thava yeah in uh decatur yep and so this actually became one of our most popular selling really? items at Thava. So I love that. All from basically an accident. From exactly. A mistake. But you know what? The best things come from mistakes, right? Yeah. Like yeah, was, yeah. You know, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, this is looking and smelling so good. Let's say one more time for people out there. If they want to come try your food, your yes. restaurant's indicator, what is it called again? It's called Thava Indian Bistro. Okay. So, and uh, what are we going to get there? Traditional Indian food? Yeah. So the, the cool thing is, there's a lot of traditional Indian food on yeah. the menu, but there's also little sections that's kind of like my corner. Yeah. So there's like Indian sandwiches, so we have the Nahari sandwich, yeah. we have like a, a chicken thicka sandwich, and we do some really cool appetizers. So I have like a, a chicken, like Indian style chicken wing on the menu. Um, and so instead of frying okay. it, we put them in the tandoor, so they're roasted chicken wings. So they still get really crispy, yeah. but they're almost slow roasted in the oven, so yeah. they're really good. Nice. Um, and so yeah, this is actually kind of, oops, there Whoopsie, we go. All right. all right. So this is actually kind of how I ended up on the show. So yeah. the cool thing is MasterChef is actually coming to cast in Atlanta. Yeah, so yeah, so people can follow in your footsteps. And you, you said before, I mean, you would recommend 
recommend this. It was a, it's been a good experience. For oh, you. it was fantastic, yeah. life changing for sure. Like yeah. this time last year, who would have thought in the last draft, Cook for Gordon Ramsay, Aaron Sanchez, yeah. Joe Bastianich, yeah. you know? It's, it's, yeah. it's, so what we have here is we have the lamb cooked yep. down. Uh, I just put some cilantro and coconut chutney on this on this side of the bun. Okay. And then some shredded onions. Mm -hmm. This is some ginger. Ooh. So these are all the I traditional ginger, toppings yeah. that you'd put on the stew. Okay. And I've just adapted it toward the sandwich. So you're just making it a sandwich topping. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so you get the same full flavors as you would if you mm -hmm. ate the curry, but in the sandwich form. I love it. And then these are some chopped jalapenos. Yep. So you get a little spicy, salty, and then the best part is you gotta squeeze a little lime on Oh, there. okay. Yeah. I love that. This is an amazing, it looks like an amazing combination of flavors, but I'll I'll tell you what it tastes <laughs> like in just a minute, because you know I'm gonna taste it. So this is this is for me, right? That's it, that's how the we serve it at one. the All restaurant. Right. I feel like this is a burgers with buck with this giant <laughs> thing right here. I'm gonna try not to be too Let's messy do it. here, but oh my gosh. Isn't the bread so amazing. good? Yeah. Everything is so good. <laughs> The bread, the lint, oh, it's amazing. Thank, I won't shake your hand because now it's covered, but sir, thank you so much. No, thanks for having Best me. Best of luck. We have loved watching you and can't wait to see that. what happens. And like Farhan said, MasterChef will be casting in Atlanta on Saturday, September 15th from 10 to 6. For details, go to MasterChefCasting.com. We'll put a link on Fox5Atlanta.com. New episodes of MasterChef Wednesday nights right here on Fox 5. I'm doing this whole thing with my mouth full. It is, I'm <laughs> telling you, this is so good. Coming up next, our pet of the day.